and welcome back to episode 13 of this survival let's play on Jack Pine. Today's episode, once we check how much we've got in here. Yeah, we've got enough for now. Uh, in today's episode, we're just going to get cracking with our road for a bit. Obviously, our potatoes won't be ready until autumn, I think early autumn possibly, possibly mid. However, I was going to try to keep them in the ground as long as possible, wasn't I? Because of, um, and try not to drive over them as well. Because of pricing. So yeah, they're not ready to do. Our pigs are fine, although we might top them up towards the end of the day. And the greenhouse will definitely have to top that up. That's pretty much a daily thing now. What I'll do, I'll just back this up. And we'll get a couple of these down. One of the things I remember talking about in, was it the last episode or the episode before, where I had it on mute and I had to do some post-com. Um, I think our aim, by the time we get to early to definitely mid-winter, but preferably early winter, is we want a sort of solid structure as a house, whether it be a house or a cabin or, basically we don't want to be in in a tent over the winter so that's a name we've got and I think you're looking at an absolute minimum of about 40 grand something like that so that greenhouse I think is going to be massive for us there we go chop a couple more down I think we average about three trees do we three small ones two big ones per load going on the house I think it's going to be it's going to be more like one of the one of the cabins because I mean the actual houses there's something like 180 grand aren't there for the for the big houses at least 100 even the modded ones so yeah I think we'll be looking at something more along the lines of those um, wooden wooden cabins and it, you've got to think of sort of things that would fit the map as well. I know there's um, there's brick houses, like smaller brick houses or bungalow type ones, but would they really fit in this setting? Right, I will. Will I put a time lapse on now? Get this gone. Yeah, we'll put a time lapse on. I'll. Um, you'll see a couple of different trips to the store, or to the cell point, sorry, 
and when we come back we'll um, we'll extend this road. Right, so we're back down at the farm. You'll have seen the two trips to this cell point. And on the second one, you'll have probably noticed that there was a lot less when we got there than there was that we stacked up. And that's because these were all here. I think it was just overloaded. Or, more importantly, that last tree would have been so big. All them should have been on the bottom, really. So I'll just put these in for now we're not going to take these up today we'll leave these for um, the next time we do some clearing in fact we'll turn that off So, if we, how are we looking for, yeah, we're going straight there. So we're going to landscaping. This is where it gets a bit difficult when you're trying to do it through the trees, you can't really see where you're going fully. Right, I'll take it as far as I extend, there's plenty of trees in the way. Where are we at? If we keep going, oh, we've still got a good track to go, haven't we? I say not, no. So at the minute we do it, come out here, is that? Wrong one. Right. I'll chop these down. Like I said, we're not going to do the carton today. We'll do that probably in the next episode.
I know as of recording, it's um, Saturday the 4th when I'm doing this second half of the uh, video. There's just been loads of new um, FS22 news released, hasn't it? I need to get up to date with it. Unfortunately, due to work, I've missed the last few days of it. But I've seen there's a, a lot of uh, good screenshots and there's the pictures of people playing the demo in as well. As the um, some of the developers releasing pictures of of it being played. I'm not going to get that little one I'm at. Nope. I think it'll be quite interesting to see when FS22 comes out who sort of uh, carries on with the series on 19. Or whether they'll sort of just get put on the back burner and new ones start on 22. I think for me, it, it all depends where we are in. I can imagine the Greenlands one will be done by then. But this one, I'm not so sure. God, there's going to be loads for the next one, isn't there? Right. We'll cut this one down last and then we'll go and do the bits we need on the actual farm. Okay, so there's a good two trailers full there, at least. Well, probably three, to be honest, with um, with what's already in it. I don't think that is as bad as what it could have been for sort of speed up there if we're getting if we're not going under ten mile now and that was from a standing start as well. I don't think that's overly a bad I expected it to be a bit slower to be honest. Right. We'll go and get in the four or five. I'm 
and get this filled up. And I think we might need to do the pigs as well. We definitely need a way though. It's around here, isn't it? I mean, first have success in AI, I think. We just... This can't... Stop producing. We need to keep on top of this, because this is where the majority of our... Revenue comes from at the minute. We still know first year, so we haven't had anything from crops. We don't have any crops stored away. We don't have a silo to do that yet, to be honest. Because of that, we won't be storing any this year either. It'll literally be taking the um, potatoes out of the ground and go and getting them sold. I think potato storage, just in general, on uh, on this game is really expensive. Even the cheap ones, you're just limited so much by the uh, storage capacity that you need so many. It gets to a point where I don't think it's particularly worth it. I mean, if you go sort of really big scale, for instance, I remember doing nothing but... Um, I got to a point on Raven Park where I was doing nothing but sugar beet. And I had a load of the. It'll have been the, the standard game um, root crop storage, which I think is about £90,000, isn't it? For 300,000 litres, something like that. Then that was worth it because of the amount of money I was making. But I think for this scale. Ideally, I would like to wash the bucket, but we don't have a pressure washer yet. It's not too bad, didn't take much, did it? Right, I'll get that back down there, we'll quickly go and get the water done, and then I think that'll be it. One of the other placeables that I was thinking about doing was maybe one of the, um, you can get the windmills and maybe put that somewhere, make a space for it up on that hill. That'll obviously when it's working, it'll um, double 
our revenue just from um, placeables. But I haven't decided whether I want to sort of go that route yet, whether I want that that many placeables. I think I don't think two will be too many, but I think if we start going beyond that. This what tank will have been pretty much empty as well, and it takes 6,000. So I think we've put three in at the minute, haven't we? to find the trigger is it? Strange. I'll go back a little bit. But I didn't think you could be too close. Try again. Unless it's full, but I didn't think it would be full. Might be. Right. Go and get the pig sorted. And with them, I think. Yep. We'll start getting. Piglet soon of them. So that'll be something else that once up and running, that'll give us income all year round as well. And there's nothing else really we need to buy for that other than just food. We've got the transport for them. Right, so I think we'll leave it there. Um, I think it's going to be upwards of sort of 25 minutes. Um, this was a little bit longer, this section, than what I thought it was going to be. So when you come back next time, we should be working more on the road, and um, we'll look at maybe getting another placeable. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.